Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about banners in Squarespace. So you can choose to have um, a full bleed banner, either image or you can do video, but sometimes it causes a little bit problem, a little bit of a problem when you switch over to the mobile version. It doesn't quite translate the right way. So I want to go through a few different options, whether you're dealing with video or you're dealing with a, a static image, some problems that you can encounter and some different ways that you can um, help that. So in this first case, I've just got a website, um, say for instance, this is a like a microblading um, client and they have this amazing banner image that really uh, captures your attention. It's beautiful on desktop and a laptop. However, if you switch it to mobile version, because of the way that it centers the photo, it's now centered in the middle of this woman's eyebrows, which is quite awkward. So one of the easiest fixes in this type of a case is just switch back to desktop view. You're going to just edit your banner. So click on banner. Um, here in the actual image, this little round circle is actually called the focal point. So I can move that around. It's basically telling Squarespace where the center of that photo, where the focus should be at. So if I move it over, say for instance, to this um, right eye, or I guess it'd be her left eye, but, and then save it. Now, when I switch to my desktop view, it's going to center that photo um, on more of her eye. So even though it's not the full picture, it still gives a little bit of a better view. So um, that's one of the options, kind of an easier way. It may work for your situation. One of the things I always tell people to think about, and this is important, actually there's a, my second video today is going to be about how to talk to your photographer about what types of video, or I'm sorry, photos you want to take for your website, because this will all play into that. Um, basically, it's interesting when you start to think about like how, why it looks different on mobile versus a computer. And it's interesting how many clients struggle with this concept. Um, you know, they give me a great banner image of like the entire group of people, and then it doesn't look the same way on mobile and they're frustrated by it. Well, you have to think about, you know, a desktop obviously is going to be a horizontal screen versus your, um, you know, any iPad or um, definitely a smartphone is going to be more vertical. So it has to cut that image in order to kind of resize it and reshape it so that it looks good on mobile. That's what mobile responsiveness and um, mobile friendly devices do. So we want that. We just have to kind of think about some different ways to tweak that. So in that case, like another option, if you if the focal point's not going to work for you, say for instance, we have a group shot here. Um, so let me go into this pretend group photo. So again, the same thing, it's going to look great when it's on a laptop or a computer um, screen, but when we switch it to mobile, it's going to cut off a few of those people. So in this case, changing the focal point really isn't going to help me because no matter where I switch it, it's going to cut off some of the people because it's got the mobile responsive feature is going to take that horizontal and force it to become a vertical image. So if I click here, we're now only going to see a few of the people. So one of the best ways to handle that is actually with a little bit of code. So you're not going to be able to use the code unless you are um, on a business plan or higher, um, but I highly recommend that because although I'm not a coder and I don't like to use a lot of code on Squarespace, there are some fantastic plugins that work really well with Squarespace. I like to say they play nicely together, so it doesn't really cause any problems. It's not gonna cause any glitches in your site and you can feel very confident knowing that that code is there and this is one of them and it actually comes from Christy Price who is fantastic if you are not checking her out and you have a Squarespace site you need to kind of be going back and looking for her because she's got some great tutorials um, this one here you can just do a quick search Christy Price um, showing a different banner image on mobile in Squarespace and you'll come up with this so this is the version 7.1 um, mine I actually did on my own website my website is a 7.0 so so my code looks a little bit different. You are going to want to refer back to hers if you have um, the 7.1 version, um, but I believe she has this 7.0 version as well. So with mine, I actually um, have a video here. So, um, and you know what, actually, I'm going to change course and actually show you because we'll skip and do that one next. I'm going to show you another client that we were working on. So this is Michelle Owen. She's a fantastic artist out of Australia. And on Michelle's site, she had this amazing um, exhibition that she has coming up and she wants that to be the focal point. So we actually did not even do this as a banner. We did this as an image within a banner. After this exhibition is done, we're going to put a full bleed banner image across. But either way, it 
didn't matter because when we switched to her mobile view, because this image was here, um, all you saw was kind of that banner image and then a bunch of white space at the top and a bunch of white space at the bottom because it was an image that we inserted. So what I did was I actually used Christie's code to force this other image. So I actually went into Canva. Um, if you guys are not using Canva, you definitely need to use Canva. It's fantastic. Um, I have kind of stopped using my Adobe Illustrator and all of my fancy design programs because Canva is just so much easier and does so many of the same things. But for instance, um, here is what I made for her mobile banner image. She originally had this great horizontal image that had these three pieces of artwork. Um, instead, I created something that was a little bit more vertically shaped. I took her pieces of art and put them in a vertical stack versus the horizontal stack, and then we saved it. So based on Christie's code, the next thing that I had to do was pretty simple. You just go into your custom CSS and you're going to place the bit of code that Christie has in her article. Um, you are going to pretty much just go in and change, like for instance, this um, section of the website is the URL for it is home banner. So I can tell that is the URL slug for it just by going into my pages. Bear with me. It's still the morning, I'm not quite awake. Um, okay, so if I go into my pages, this is where it's at. It's the home banner. So if I click on my settings wheel, I can see that my URL slug is home dash banner. So in the code that Christy provided, all that I need to do in design custom CSS is place that code in there so you'll see where she has in her code hashtag page um, down here oh, do, 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 do. where is it um, I'm skipping right over the top of it I'm sure um, the code injection so it'll say hashtag page we are going to instead change it to actually be the page URL so in this case the, the place that I want that mobile banner image to appear is on my hashtag home dash banner because that's where this page is um, then and another spot in the code there is going to be a place to put the image URL so to do that all you basically need to do is edit this page I'm going to add a new image I am going to add that mobile image that I made um, so it is somewhere in here you know what we're just going to find it from my search for images since I just added it and it's probably down a little ways so we're gonna add it that is not it that is not it there we go. So we add this image and then say apply. And then I am going to just right click on the image and it's okay that it's in there. I don't want it on the live site, but it's okay to leave it in there for just a moment, just for this purpose. So I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna say open image in a new tab, which will open this browser up here. Once that browser is open and I see the image there, then I can come back in here to the page and delete this image because we don't want it on her live site. And then I'm gonna say save. And then here in the code that Christy provided where it says backgrounds URL, I just, all I have to do is copy and paste that here where it says URL in this section. That's pretty much it. Um, in this case, I had to do another piece. I kind of had to edit the code a little bit more because we also had this image. Rather than this being, she didn't already have a full bleed background, she had this image put in here, so I had to hide that as well. But um, it will work just fine for you if you have a full banner, Im banner image like I was showing you with the group photo. They could, um, have a full group photo on desktop version and then when you go to mobile they could replace it with something like this so as long as you do a square image or a more vertical image it will look great on mobile using that code so this would be an option um, again because i want that i want the whole group in there but i need it to be more vertically shaped you have to think of something in the background that will kind of be, be aesthetically pleasing for the website so in this case i just chose some greenery um, it would be anything at all that you would like to um, 
you know, kind of that would give the website a little bit more um, pizzazz or that would kind of add to the aesthetics of the website. One option that I think is kind of nice is to blur out the image. So you can do that on Squarespace as well. Let's just go into this one. So for instance, um, if you wanted to, you could um, copy this and then put the image behind it, kind of a fuller image, and then you would essentially blur it. So behind would be a blurred image, so you kind of get that feeling of the same coloring and the same style as this image, but it's blurred out and it just kind of creates a nice background. So an example of what that can kind of look like would be here on Zoe Yaldin's site. It's not quite the same thing, but you'll get the idea of the appearance of it. On her site, we chose to, on some of her lower banners, we chose to have an image here as her service button, but then behind it in the banner image is the exact same image just blurred out. And that's very easy to do within Squarespace as well, just by going into image editor and actually changing the toggle of the blur here. So, all right, next step is video. So as you know, you can place a video as your banner for your Squarespace site. So I'm gonna go back to mine and show you my video. So I kind of just created this fun um, optical illusion banner video. All I did was upload it to my Vimeo channel. I prefer to use Vimeo versus um, YouTube just because I like to be able to customize the embed settings and not have suggested videos on. But either way, you can have it on Vimeo or you can have it on YouTube. I have my uh, video here in my banner. I have just selected to use a video. I copied the video URL here. It's extremely important to always add a mobile fallback image because videos do not work on every single um, mobile device. It kind of depends on the browser that that mobile device is using, the version of that browser. It also depends on the connectivity of the user, what type of um, cellular they're on, or if they're on Wi-Fi and how strong the Wi-Fi signal is, many different factors. And we can't control it as designers. So it's always bothered me though, because I love the effect of my video. I want that up there. Um, whether it's something like this, if you have a full video that's like an explainer video, this probably isn't going to work, but I'm really excited about this method um, because it's bothered me forever that I can have a video here and that I have to just create a static background mobile fallback image. So when someone comes to my website on a mobile device, probably half the time all they're seeing is just the static image of the spinning wheel. It's not actually spinning, which kind of takes away the whole idea of does Squarespace make your head spin? So what I did was I actually went into Canva. I created a the same video that I used for my banner. I just created a square um, post Basically, it's actually an Instagram post, 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. I uploaded that same video in here and then I edited the, it was like 20 seconds long. I made it so that it was less than five seconds long so that I could download it as not a video, but instead a GIF because Squarespace will allow you, it won't allow you to put a GIF in a banner behind, but it will allow you to add um, GIFs as images. So in that case, I could have my video here as my actual mobile banner, but on my fallback image, it's actually not an image, it's a GIF. So even when someone is having connectivity issues, even when someone is um, you know, on a browser that doesn't allow video for the banner on autoplay video, it still is going to give this little snippet of, um, of the effect of the video. So again, it won't work if you have like a full on explainer video, but it could work for, we have another client, um, Drea actually is working with um, Highlands Detroit and they have this amazing video when you're on mobile, um, but it's quite a long video. We wouldn't be able to do the entire thing, but this little portion right here in the beginning where it's just kind of this more graphic that would be easy. It's going to be maybe a seven second video. So before we get into this whole portion, 
she could just make a little snippet of that video um, that has more of the graphics and that could be their mobile um, fallback uh, GIF, which I think is fantastic. So those are a few different ways that you can customize your um, mobile version of your banners. I hope that helps. Um, definitely let me know if you have any videos that you'd like for me to make um, and check out Christy's website for all of her great tutorials and blog posts and suggestions. Um, my next video today is going to be talking to you about when you have your photo shoot because I think a lot of people just rush right into a photo shoot and get pictures taken and forget to think about all of the different aspects of the site and different things that they might want to have on the site either now or in the future. So that will be my next video. Check it out and then let me know if you have any other things that you'd like to learn about. Have a great day.